Good morning, welcome to day two of Japan. Um, so I checked out a capsule hotel and I am now walking to the next place. And everywhere is closed. Like not a single place is open and it's like 9.30 in the morning. So I seem to have hit the jackpot and this little bottom place where there are tons of little like sushi stores like that fit like six or ten people um, they all look like super good these places like, they only have like the bar seating and they seem to only, only serve a few people which is really cool um, there's like a ton of little, little tiny ones out the back. So I'm just gonna pick one and go and eat all of that sushi. They're all saying stuff to me and I have no idea what they're saying. pastry except instead of like the pastry stuff it's like gooey stuff which is I don't know super tasty um I just want black which is kind of weird but it tastes really good it's made out of rice mainly for them anyway so I'm leaving the markets and I walked past some um, vending machines and I found alcoholic vending machines I don't know like how they it looks like you have to have some sort of like card. You have to have some sort of ID card to get these these fancy alcoholic drinks from vending machines. That's kinda crazy. They take it to a whole new level. But there's there's the market that I just left. Um, a bunch of places are still closed. I was told um, by my friend that it was some sort of like Labor Day holiday or something, like Japanese Labor Day. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go explore some more. I seem to have found what can only be described as like a mini Times Square in Tokyo. There's also this like train thing. This is Christmas. Um, and so we're celebrating Christmas right now. Santa's driving the train. I guess he drives a train in, in Japan on a sleigh. It's a bit different. I don't really know what I'm doing. I have nothing planned at all, like no sense to see. I'm just sort of walking around um, and seeing what I can find. So um, if I find anything interesting inside a store, um, I'll let you guys know. But if you never see me inside stores or one of these shopping center things, um, then clearly they weren't that interesting. At the time, also you you ate a sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Morning sushi. Yeah. I'm, I'm sushi. eating as much sushi as I can this trip. Where do you live in Japan? Where do you do you live in USA? Now, 
in now, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. Very hot. Hmm? Very. Very. Uh, very hot. San Francisco okay. is very cold. Well, la, 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 la. <laughs> I am in an elevator up to a bar called Bar High Five, which apparently is really good. Um, so let's check it out. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to try another time. Time for attempt number two. Going to another bar. This one. Um, I'm gonna tell you the story about about dinner tonight because I was waiting in line. I'll, I'll probably tell you later. But I had dinner with an old Japanese couple, and it was actually it was really fun. I learned some Japanese. I'm gonna be fluent soon. I don't know if this is just me, like whatever it is, but I just came up to the seventh floor. I'm already too small for this place. It looks like the bar is closed, which kind of sucks. It's zero for two. Can I start now? Um, yeah, so I was waiting in line. So I went to the markets and I figured, hey, this place is a really good line. Um, it's probably pretty good. So I start waiting in line. Uh, it's gonna be like a 30 minute wait, and like, whatever, good sushi, I'll go. Uh, I was like a sushi train type thing. And then this Japanese couple comes up behind me, and they start speaking to me. Well, and then we start getting into a conversation, they're practicing their English. Um, we end up sitting together and having a few beers, and... I must be doing something wrong. It seems like every bar in this city is closed. Is it like too early? It's like 9.30. Um, and that's the fourth place that I've been to that's been closed. So, keep trying. 